Well, I started my Playboy modeling career at 21. I was going to Oregon State University. And uh, Playboy came looking for girls with a Pac-10. And I kind of just decided on a complete whim to go for it. I never considered modeling, nor did I think uh, I had the quality to. But uh, I tried out just for the heck of it. And uh, they liked me. And everything happened from there. Modeling for Playboy for the first time is like I think anyone would expect. It's super nerve-wracking. Uh, never really been nude in front of uh, many people in my life, so having to do it in front of a bunch of people at once with cameras and pictures that you know are going to be seen all over the world is scary. But um, And everybody says it, it for the fir first minute or two is weird, but after that you forget you forget, and nobody's paying attention to that. They're paying attention to your hair, your makeup, the you know the chair behind you, or whatever. And you you really do forget that you're nude. Going from Miss July 2006 to becoming Playmate of the Year 2007, um, both are huge honors. Just to get to be a Playmate is an, a huge honor in itself. And being Playmate of the Year is just icing on the cake. Obviously, you get a whole new pictorial, you get a car, you get money. Um, a lot more people know who you are. A lot more people recognize you. You, it, It's like being a Playmate on a much bigger scale, I suppose I would say, in a very good way. I've done a few movies, uh, always little parts. As I say, what did I do? Uh, Epic Movie, House Bunny, Miss March. Um, done some TV things, trying to get into hosting. Uh, I'm just kind of having fun with it. Uh, I'm not aggressively pursuing acting. I'm just kind of going with the flow and just seeing what opportunities life presents me. And so far, so good. Well, I actually love horror films, so if I could choose to be act in anything, it would be a horror film. Um, some of my favorites are like The Descent, uh, El Orphanage, or The Orphanage. It's a uh, foreign film. It's amazing. Um, I love the Saw movies. Uh, I just saw Drag Me to Hell. Really good, really weird, but really, really good. Um, I like it all. I'm learning video games. Before, I only played like Super Mario Brothers when I was like, how old would I have been? Seven. But I'm starting to learn how to play baseball on the Xbox, and uh, it is so much fun. I'm addicted. I like scream at the TV and cuss and like, why didn't you? Uh, why didn't you tag him? He was. So yeah, that's definitely nerdy. Um, I'm into movies galore and reality TV. Love reality TV. Big Brother. Oh, it makes my week good. Working on the tack of the show was okay. First of all. So much fun. Second of all, it, it's super nerve-wracking. I've done hosting stuff for TV, all kinds of things. I've never done live before. And uh, all these people have done it so many times. I mean, Chris is does web soup, and he's, you know, every day doing this stuff. So it's really intimidating working with people who are super comfortable with it. When I'm coming in nervous, don't know what to expect. Um, people are pointing this camera, talk to this camera, and, you know, five, four, it's just, it's craziness, but it was so much fun. One of the funnest things I've ever done by far. AOTS fans, uh, tell G4 to bring me back. I had so much fun. Um, I love this network and I'm um, just having a blast and I'm glad to be here.